So, let's bring the logic that it's going to check if we are on the ground or not. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to write the script, but because I'm using the strategy pattern and I'm sharing the same uh, logic and the same architecture between both the souls like both the advanced personal controller and the hit project then that means i can basically reuse the scripts i'm making the only thing i'm going to change before i import that script i'm going to go on to my state manager and just add a simple bool for is grounded okay just that save that and then i'm going to go on to my state actions we do have an is grounded already which is weird but this what this does only is going to check for it's going to place us there we did a little bit more yeah we kind of did something more advanced on the advanced third person controller so i'm going to just copy paste the values from that take a, a look at this at what it does and how it is but here's the new one we're going to use it's almost exactly the same we do need to change to add two more things so when we are on the ground we check with this distance so that we can go normally down to slopes and when we are on the air we check with this distance we are missing one thing we do have the layers ignore layers control we don't have that but we can just say states dot ignore for ground check okay and this will check if we are grounded or if we're not grounded so with this we can go now on the move forward we can check this but only if states dot is grounded equals false so actually if this is true if you are on the ground you'll be doing this otherwise we want the drag to be set at zero. Okay, and we are applying the value, the velocity we have. But if we are on the ground, we also want to be changing. So we can just take this, I guess, cut that from here, paste it in here. And only if we are on the ground is grounded. So that will be states dot is grounded change the velocity otherwise we want to have the velocity we had before so we need to store the velocity original velocity and we get that from a rigid body okay so if you are not on the ground then the velocity on your y is going to be your original velocity dot y okay so this will work this is a little bit more uh, of advanced movement or well more of advanced uh, is grounded logic and because we are doing a sphere cast now down it will also eliminate a few of these cases where we were going over those steps and we were falling and going up and all those things so let's try this okay as you can see we now move smoothly we do have those little jumps but we'll see what we can do about those but everything else just works the same so yeah i just wanted to do this because we've ended uh, with that on the last video so i'll just finish with this over here no need to drag it even more so as always you know what to do like subscribe and if you like to see more stuff like this then consider supporting me on patreon so we can keep making all these nice things i'll see you on the next one